guys, it's Otis Collier here, and I wanted to shoot this short video. Um, wanted to share something with you that I've been using now for about a month, and uh, thought that it was really neat. Have you ever wanted to go back and look at the history of an instant message chat that you had? You know, maybe you were sharing something with someone on instant message, and um, you you wanted to go back a couple of days later to review some of the notes or one of the links that they sent you via instant message. Now, I know that you can save that in your, I know at least with Yahoo, you can save your instant message conversations to your computer. But, you know, I didn't think it was that serious. I didn't want to clog my computer up with a lot of instant messages in memory. But I came across this site that allowed me to basically um, store all of my instant messages virtually on their server. And so I thought, man, that would be cool to be able to store my conversations on another server somewhere. And so I can't pronounce this. It's S-I-M-K-L. I have no idea what that stands for, um, but S-I-M-K-L dot com. And as you can see, it automatically saves all of your important instant message conversations on a secure web server. So that's really, really neat um, that it actually does that for you. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just share with you um, how it looks when you go and look at your instant message. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go view my history. And the history is really neat because... Um, let me move this screen down. The URL to view the history is history.im. Isn't that pretty neat? You know, so history instant message. If you want to go and look at the history of your instant message, you just go to history.im and it will show you the history of your instant message. But let me just share with you. You'll see that I have my Yahoo connected here. And um, let me just look at. Christopher Moore. This is one of my fraternity brothers. We were having a conversation and you can see the conversation that we were having. His his comments are in red. Mine are in blue and it shows the date and the time um, and what we actually talked about. And I thought that was really, really neat. And you can see I have all of these instant messages um, that I've you know had with people over the last month and it just constantly updates that. And um, I've had the ability to actually go in and, and run a search to look for certain things that were in our conversation. For example, here's our search bar, and I can actually run a search for certain things that we talked about, and it will take me to that instant message. Now, to set it up is very, very easy. I'm going to go here to settings, and I'm going to show you how I actually set this up. Okay. Um, you can use this with Yahoo, MSN, there are several different instant messaging clients that you can use this with, but I'm using this with Yahoo, and these are the instructions that they sent me, which are very, very simple. So, you know, I'm logging into my Yahoo uh, account, and it tells you to go up to the messenger and click, click on connection preferences. And then over here to the right, what we'll do is they'll give you a proxy code and give you all the information right here for your server name, your username, and the password for your proxy code. They'll give you all that information to log into your, um, to put into your instant message tool on your, on your browser. And then once you do that, you just save those settings, and it constantly records it. it I mean, it's that easy. And um, I actually love it because I've had to use it a couple of times. I've actually had to go back and use this particular tool uh, several different times. So if you will, if you're interested, go out to simkl.com and um, set it up and you can record your instant message. Well, that's all for now, and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.